Many hands make short work. Let's get going. Oh, goodness. Stretch it out. I never, like, show off the stretch anymore, but it'll be fine. I thought I was going to do all this, like, paced out, late night, timing, walking, exercise, and all this crap. And I woke up, like, three hours early, just like, hmm, I'm kind of up. I should really go to bed. So I went back to bed a little bit. And, uh, still still here. Got maybe 30, 45 more minutes. Like, I guess I'm going to get up. And I, I kind of got up, dinked around the place and was like, I guess I'm going to go for a walk. And then I went to go for a walk. I was like, I'll keep it short. I wanted to make a short walk. And, no, went for like an eight mile fucking hike. Came back. Like, wife's like, I'm back. And I'm like, oh, good. Uh, honestly, the timing on everything worked out really well. Um, holy shit, I did that stretch for like a minute. I guess I didn't hit my, t I didn't hit the button straight on. Uh, we'll do this one for a minute and then flip it for 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, it was, it was like, oh crap. But, you know, the timing on everything worked out well, like I started to say. Uh, doing okay. That little low energy now i think it's more from getting involved in like late night projects that it's like like oh i should really go to bed and then the project's like you can't save this file until you finish this one little problem and i'm like next thing you know it's like 45 minutes an hour later and working on the problem and it's just, oh. like it was late enough that my wife was like had wandered through like oh i gotta get up soon i'm just going to the bathroom like like oh crap like check the clock whoa oh. Oh, it's work. Um, I guess I kind of know that the other way around, where it's like, uh, if you really, if you're really dinged up and you need, you need some rest. The best rest is to get to bed early, not late, and then sleep long. But get to bed early and sleep normal. Well, you get a long sleep either way. But if you get, if you can get yourself down in a sleep a little early instead of like going to bed normal or late and then sleeping super long. Uh, way more effective. So I guess the opposite way around of like, if I respect the fact that I'm kind of tired and approach it that way, then then all this just makes normal sense. Instead of being like, well, I don't think I'm tired. It's like, you're bitching about being tired all the time and you're going, <sighs> in your videos. Uh, possible Wolfenstein tonight. Uh, got a message from Andy saying uh, he, he was like, feeling good and strong and up and about and ready to go uh pitched a bunch of different days uh if we we're trying to pace out uh multiple days then i think tonight would be the smartest because it, there's just that feeling if you do something like wednesday you you barely even feel like doing anything again by like friday it just feels sooner i don't know about barely feeling like it but uh there's just a, a the the time uh, the pace on things doesn't feel great if you don't uh, spread it out like that. I've been uh, into doing these exercises faster. It's been weeks since I've been doing them and I realized that I do them at a pace that's like, well, you could go quicker. Uh, I also like randomly couldn't remember how many of these like standing push-up things I do. I was just like, uh... Suddenly I was like, it's 15. I don't think anything I've ever done has been 15. Uh, I could probably quickly, I'm just getting a little dim on us, but I could like log in to the website and see if it reminds me. Standing wall scapular protraction retraction. How do I, no. <laughs> uh, frequency, yeah, 20. Okay, good. I did it right. We got it right. Because I was like, there's nothing that was ever 15. Was there anything that was 15? I don't think so. It's always been 10s, 310s, or 220s. And then 8, 9, 10. That's like the early uh, steps of doing this. I would forget what rep I was on, if that's the right term. Reps and sets. So I was probably on the wrong set. Um, I would do something 
and then do the cool down period uh, and then go to do it again and somewhere in the middle of the second one I'd be like is this two or three <laughs> it can't be just the first one um, and I started like counting on my offhand uh, not the per, but like which set I was on. And then I, I brought that habit back with me to the physical therapist and they were like, oh, I really like that you do that because I can tell where you are in the set. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. Um, there's no knock on them, but at some point during an eight hour day of watching people do like push ups and shit, you probably get a little bored and check out and like look at something on your computer and then you're like, uh-oh, which, which set are they on, you know? And I guess you only really get caught if the person doing them is like, which one am I on? And they're like, uh... Feels like there's probably some mental trick you could teach people that's like, uh, you know, one weird trick to remember what set you're on. But uh, my weird trick is to just keep tally on my fingers. We, uh, we did a bunch of Oddworld Soulstorm last night. Uh, but we're, we're not recording videos for it. Maybe it's a good thing we aren't because it's, uh, it's a tough one to watch sometimes. Um, the repetition. Because it's just one of those games that's like, it's got like tons of near or one hit or near one hit deaths. So you, you're like, you go through a whole like sequence and then some, some like pixel is off and you die. And I'm serious about the pixel. Even though it's a polygon game. Polygonal. Uh, just, <laughs> there's like, there, there'll be like squishers, video game s smashers. Uh, and like, Cray would like run up and stand next to it. And you're like, okay, that's pretty safe. But you could be closer. So when it goes up, you got better time to run through. And you're like, runs up and stands there. And he runs up and like pushes on it. So it goes up and runs through. And you're like, is that the right? Do you... Does he waste some time on the animation of the pushing? Oh, I had the wrong light mode going. Uh, is he wasting some time, like, getting out of the push animation, getting running? So maybe he should space it. So then he puts himself right up against it, and the smasher comes out, and it doesn't kill him, but it pushes him backwards, and on his character gets knocked on his butt. And I'm like, fucking, like, really? Like, that exact? Like, what's going on here? Uh, there's also a, a point where you, you can, you get that effect, but you get squished and you take a little bit of damage, but anywhere closer or wherever the, the, the line is, the squisher will just kill you. So it's interesting to me that the squisher isn't necessarily murdering you. It's doing a tremendous amount of damage to kill you. And there's a point where the tremendous amount of damage will push you backwards and you'll just be like, ow. It's all, it's, it's just, it just nicks you or something. It's like a car just hits you and you're like, ooh, you know, you got blown out of the street or spun around or something. Like, I was like, I guess because it's all polygons and, and I, these guys, these guys have worked in polygons before, but this time they're using polygonal gameplay to make like a side scrolling old style, uh, I would call uh, uh, Prince of Persia. Um, it's really, it's an, it's an Abe game. It's an odd world game, an old odd world game. No strangers rash, no munches odyssey. Uh, just that side scrolling little puzzles and platforming and jumping. Um, the game also kind of changes up what you're doing a lot. Like it, yeah, like, you know, they, like Abe could always like do a chant where his like soul comes out and it like, you can travel around in it and possess an enemy, make them do things. And they have like whole levels dedicated to using that mechanic and then they have whole levels dedicated to, like, this simple little, like, shock thing. It looks like an old World War II mine with spikes on it. And that thing just makes you go, like, yeah, and you can't, you can't chant and possess him. And then you just put it everywhere on the level, and you're like, well, oh, okay. At some, at some point, you're like, why do I have the chant power? And then there, there'll just be, like, one thing in the middle of it. It's like, oh, you can chant and get this guy real quick, and that's how you get past this. And you're like, yeah, I remembered I had a chant. Thanks, you know? After you've, like, bludgeoned me for 45 minutes of, like, don't use the chant. Mm. I don't know. It's the pacing that's off. The game is fine. It has a lot of heart. The people that make it seem like decent people. Um, 
with like a good intent of like we're gonna make a fun game but it feels like I'm not getting the bright setting oh, I am um but yeah the pace is just off they, teach, they give you so many mechanics but they never really like loop them in and like layer it it's always like now you can do this now you do, now you can't do that now you do this now you do that again okay it's gone now do this oh um, yeah, hopefully we get a video in tonight. Uh, otherwise, we'll get one in this weekend. It's not that big a deal. And put it up, be more Wolfenstein. Uh, game was getting interesting last time, so that's that's good. Uh, let's just call it nice and short. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.